The Ukrainian army and its reserve units, the Territorial Defense Battalions, have been short of weapons throughout the ongoing war with Russia. The Ukrainian military has, of course, hundreds of thousands of modern and Soviet-era weapons of all types in service, but there are simply not sufficient to ensure that every soldier has an AK-47 or 74, which has necessitated Ukraine opening up its storage facilities and distributing older Cold War-era weapons, and also its stocks of Soviet World War II weapons, particularly to second-line reserve units. Though these weapons seem antiquated, they are still perfectly serviceable and lethal in the right hands, and it's a case today of any weapon being better than no weapon at all. I should emphasize once again that the Ukrainian military is using primarily modern assault rifles and machine guns, plus a plethora of handheld missiles, mortars and sniper rifles of Cold War or post-Cold War vintage. World War II-era weapons are not in wide circulation, but journalists and observers have noted many turning up in Ukrainian units during the current fighting, and even some in the Russian army, indicating that they remain useful in plugging gaps until more modern weapons can be sourced. Though not the Ukraine military's standard sidearm, the venerable Tokarev TT-33 pistol is in widespread usage today with Ukraine having a large stock of this World War II vintage weapon in storage at the start of the campaign. Entering service in the Soviet Union in 1930, in 1952 the TT-33 was replaced in Soviet service with the Makarov, but was still widely issued to reserve units, police, interior troops, etc. This eight-round weapon, chambered in 7.62 by 25mm Tokarev, is still a very solid and reliable weapon, with the USSR manufacturing over 1.3 million between 1931 and 1945. Supplementing the ubiquitous AK-47s and its numerous variants are three World War II-era submachine guns. The PPD-40 is currently in service with some Ukrainian territorial defense battalions. In service with the Red Army from 1935 to 45, it fires the same round as the Tokarev pistol and shares a superficial resemblance to the more famous PPSH-41, also in use in some Ukrainian reserve units. Known to Korean War veterans as the burp gun, due to its high rate of fire, the PPSH-41 was used by the Soviet Union until the 1960s, and widely used by Warsaw Pact nations and other communist regimes. Using either a drum or stick magazine, this cheaply made stamped steel submachine gun has also seen wide service with Russian separatists during the conflict in the Donbass region that preceded the Ukraine war. More use is being made today of the PPS-43, a lightweight, all-metal replacement for the PPSH-41 that entered service in 1942. In Ukraine, it has received some use as a sidearm for Ministry of Internal Affairs units. World War II-era rifles have appeared on both sides in the Ukraine war and the earlier Donbass conflict. The SVT-40, or Tokarev self-loading rifle, entered Soviet service in 1940, intended to replace the old Mosin-Nagant bolt-action rifle. It never fully replaced the Mosin, and was itself replaced by the post-war SKS and then the AK-47 rifles. However, it was reported in 2008 that Ukraine had 11,500 SVT-40s in storage, and some have, of course, seen action with reserve units in the current war. What? Yeah. Yeah. 
The aforementioned Mosin Nagant M1891-30 rifle is in service in Ukraine at present, alongside the more updated Mosin Nagant 44 carbine, used as a backup for reserve units and seems to be in use as a sniper rifle on both sides. Russian separatist forces in the Donbass have been photographed with sniper versions of the Mosin, a weapon configuration that gained fame during the Battle of Stalingrad in 1942-43, when male and female Soviet snipers caused havoc among the German invaders. It's still a fearsome and accurate weapon today, firing the 7.62 by 54 mm Russian from a five-round stripper clip fed magazine, and with optics is lethal out to 800 plus meters or 875 yards. With 37 million built, Mosins will still soldier on in many conflicts for the foreseeable future. Backing up their modern light and medium machine guns, the Ukrainians are also employing several World War II-era weapons culled from storage. The most famous is the DP-27 light machine gun, with its dinner plate-like 47-round magazine. Soviet troops in World War II nicknamed it the record player because of its resemblance to a gramophone. Sturdy and cheap to make, it has the same relatively slow rate of fire as the British World War II era Bren gun, and fulfilled the same role of providing an infantry platoon with a light machine gun. Manufactured from 1928 to the 1950s, it's seen combat in the Donbass from 2014 onwards, and now in the Ukraine war. A less well-known light machine gun that has been noted in storage in Ukraine and now in combat is the RP-46. An updated belt-fed version of the DP-27, it came into Soviet service in 1946 and was later replaced by the PK. Providing heavier and sustained fire support is a gun that was already old in World War II. In fact, it first came to prominence before World War I. The M1910 Maxim medium machine gun was first used by the Russian Imperial Army before the revolution. A belt-fed, water-cooled weapon, a modernized version, the 1910-30, was adopted by the Red Army in 1930. Though ancient by World War II standards, it remained in production until 1945. In August 2011, Ukraine had 35,000 of these weapons in storage, and they have seen service in the Donbass, and in December 2016 were officially adopted by the armed forces of Ukraine, being photographed in several prepared positions during the current conflict. Ukraine's main heavy machine gun is the World War II vintage DSHK, known commonly as the Dushka. It entered Soviet service in 1938 and is being used by both sides in the current conflict. A belt-fed weapon, it fires the large 12.7 by 108 mm round from 50 round belts and can be vehicle or ground mounted. A number were recently transported to Ukraine as a gift by Lithuania. The United States and Italy have sent Ukraine a similar World War II era heavy machine gun that remains in NATO service today, the Browning M2. Chambered in the same size round, in this case 0.50 BMG, it entered service in 1933, being based on an earlier 1919 design and many World War II manufactured examples are still serving the US and British militaries even today. Engage! Finally, in Kyiv, they have even stripped the local museum of Czech hedgehogs, last used in 1941 when the German army lay siege to the city. 
Many thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share. And also visit my audiobook channel, War Stories with Mark Felton. You can also help to support both of my channels at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below. Thank you.